there's a very simple connection here between the juvenile inducing properties of fruit and the emergence of juvenile traits in human evolution. Of course, by the time this symbiotic association broke down, this, the association had built a very big juvenile brain, so that's enough to maintain some of the momentum. It's basically running its own juvenile inducing system or juvenile maintaining system, but always underpinned by the fruit chemistry. Take the fruit chemistry away and that's going to stall and slowly start cycling back. And I think that's exactly what's going on. We're at the wrong end of a process where an incredibly unique relationship had created a very large layer of juvenile neural tissue that was keeping us juvenile and creating more of its own kind of structure, giving us all sorts of unusual traits, perhaps extended longevity. I mean, a, a, another area to look at is how juvenile tissue in a simplistic way doesn't age in the same way. Aging begins with specialization and differentiation in a, in a, in a simplistic sense. So again, our own sex, sex steroids were in this juvenile phase, highly plastic, highly responsive, powerful immune system. Sex steroids cut in, create the structure that is required for sexual reproduction and that's what we have for the rest of our life. But that's kind of when the clock starts ticking. Specialized tissue seems to age more quickly. So by causing a kind of regression, creating more juvenile tissue, it opens up the possibility of much greater longevity as well. So we've got juvenile traits um, being maintained into adulthood and the, the duration of our lifespan perhaps extending in the same way that our brain ex expanded. Um, but once you pull the, pull the plug, once you lose the fruit, that whole thing begins to go into reverse. Rather interestingly, it looks like one side of our brain loses that juvenile state more quickly than the other, begins moving back to a more typical specialized structure without these unique traits and without the ability to maintain a juvenile phase. And as it paradoxically ends up in charge, it accelerates its own reversion to a more primitive type. However, we still, it seems, have some of that juvenile neural tissue in the right hemisphere. And that's why we have these latent traits that seem inexplicable in, in our current way of thinking, but they may be part of a structure, uh, a juvenile structure that facilitates all sorts of unusual abilities.